Hi everyone. This time we will learn about how to modify and fix aluminum and flexible conduits. Competitors will conduct aluminum and flexible conduit modification and fix on walls. Let us have a look at the key points of this task. First, refer to the drawings and calculate the cut and bending measurement of aluminum conduit. Cut the aluminum conduit according to the measurement shown on the drawings. Mark and write measurement with a mechanical pencil at the bending part. Bending aluminum conduit into 90 degrees. How to calculate measurement for aluminum conduit bending. How to bend aluminum conduit and fix coupling at the end part. Subtract 10 millimeters from the length of the aluminum conduit where it is not inserted into the coupling. Mark the point minus 122 millimeters from the part where the aluminum conduit will be bent to 90 degrees. Place the bending part at the end of the bender and bend the conduit to 90 degrees. Second, cut the aluminum conduit using a conduit cutter. Third, Bend the aluminum conduit using a conduit bender. Place the bending point, which you have marked on the aluminum conduit, at the end of the bender. Hold the handle of the bender and lower it slowly. Make sure not to let the handle slip from hand. Place the conduit to a square ruler to check if the conduit is bent to 90 degrees. Four. After bending the aluminum conduit, cut the conduit on the right length. After reaming the cut ends, attach it. Mark the measurement value of the subtracted length of the coupling, 10 millimeters, from the end of the apparatus on the conduit. Fit the conduit into the vise and with a tubed cutter, cut the conduit. Ream the inner diameter of the conduit to make it smooth and with a cloth, wipe out the markings that were drawn on conduit. Fifth, refer to the drawings, then cut the flexible conduit and attach it. Cut the flexible conduit at a proper length. Insert the flexible conduit into the connector, then fix. Push the flexible conduit in the connector so that it is inserted completely. Sixth, fix the flexible conduit with a clamp saddle and then bend. Fix the clamp saddle on the wall panel beforehand. Fit the conduit into the connector and with the clamp saddle, hold the straight part in place. Adjust the conduit with hand when bending. When bending, be sure the conduit does not get dented. Please double check preparations in detail and personal protective equipment to be ready for the task. Let us have a look at the precautions to perform the task in this training. Things to be aware of when working on aluminum conduits. First, when marking the measurement on conduit, use a mechanical pencil with a thin pencil, lead, for accuracy. You can mark the line more accurately if you use a mechanical pencil since the pencil lead can draw thinner lines compared to other writing tools. When marking measurement, make sure not to get confused with other marking lines drawn on conduit. Second, after bending, check if the conduit is exactly bent to 90 degrees. It is hard to modify the aluminum conduit again once it's bent, so when you conduct bending, pay close attention on the first trial. When the conduit is not bent to 90 degrees, the conduit will get distorted when it's attached, so make sure you accurately make the conduit bent to 90 degrees. Here are things to be aware of when working on flexible conduit. First, insert the conduit all the way to the end of the connector. Second, if the straight part of the conduit is crooked, straighten it with hands. Third, when cutting the conduit with a tube cutter, be careful not to cause any safety-related accidents. Fourth, when bending the conduit, be careful not to break it.
Have a look at what we are going to do in this training. This explains how to work on aluminum conduits. Let us measure the dimensions of the aluminum conduits. After checking measurements shown on the drawings, get the total length of the straight part and cut. Calculating the measurement of L-shape bending. This is a method of calculating the measurement for aluminum conduit bending. Subtract 122 millimeters from the part where the conduit is bent into 90 degrees. Let us cut aluminum conduits. Cut the aluminum conduit at the mark. Ream the cut edge using a countersink. For the first bending part, mark the location where length of straight part length of connector minus 122 is at. Let us bend aluminum conduits. Place the bending point to the bender and then bend. Place the exact bending point at the end of the bender. The handle should be lowered slowly so that the conduit does not wobble when bending. Competitors should be attentive until the operation is finished completely. Let us bend aluminum conduits to 90 degrees. Place the aluminum conduit to a square ruler to check if it is at 90 degrees. Fit the conduit and the square ruler together to see if the conduit is bent at a right angle. Let us cut aluminum conduits in proper lengths. Bring the conduit to where the saddle is attached. Mark where the end of the apparatus is located on the conduit. Competitors should mark the cutting point accurately so that when attaching conduit, it is attached at a correct position. After subtracting the length of the coupling, 10 millimeters from the marking point, cut with a tube cutter. Fix the conduit tightly with a vise. Let us attach after reaming and cleaning. Ream the inner diameter of the cut surface with a countersink. Using a drill and countersink, conduct reaming at the inner diameter. Insert conduit into the connector first and attach by pressing the saddle one by one. Insert conduit into the coupling first, then lock the saddle one by one. When fixing with saddle, make sure the conduit is well balanced and fixed in a correct position.
Let us clean the workspace. Tidy up the used tools for the aluminum conduit process. In order to secure workspace and prevent safety accidents. Clean up the debris generated from the aluminum conduit process on the floor with a broom. Let us insert conduits into the connector. Insert the conduit all the way to the end of the connector. Fix the straight part of the conduit with saddle. When fixing the straight part, make sure not to make the conduit crooked. Bend the conduit gradually to 90 degrees. When bending, make sure it doesn't get dented. Before inserting into the connector, cut the conduit with a cutter. When cutting, be careful of safety-related accidents while using the cutter. Let us insert the conduit into the connector. Insert the conduit all the way to the end of the connector. Check again the key points of the task we've worked on in this training. So far, we have learned about how to conduct aluminum and flexible conduit modification and fix on walls. Thank you for your hard work.